Hi everyone, this is IMIT platform presentation. In this short demo, I will show the key features of the platform. IMIT is a complete modern data stack delivered as a single platform. It provides end-to-end -end data analytics services from ingestion to insights in a single platform. In this demo, I will cover the following services. Lakehouse, the analytics and storage layer, built-in SQL editor, BI, ETL, serverless Spark job service, and data governance, uh, which involves data access control, data catalog, and data observability. Let's start from the lakehouse. In the core, IAMIT provides a la data lakehouse. Lakehouse is the analytics and storage layer. Simply think lakehouse equals to data warehouse plus data lake. IAMIT Lakehouse uses the coupled compute and storage architecture. It's built on Apache Spark and Apache Iceberg. The technology is being used by the Netflix, Apple, Adobe, Alibaba, and many other big companies to manage bet petabyte scale data analytics. This allows isolating your compute workloads based on team or use cases without duplicating data. Uh, for instance, split ETL workloads from BI workloads so they don't interfere with each other. Moreover, as your organization grows, the system can scale horizontally as you can add more clusters. Creating a cluster is extremely easy. You just give a name like uh, finance and then you specify the cluster size and you define if you want to enable auto scale, uh, which scales down the cluster in case of 30 minutes in activity, it scales up back again once it gets the request. This helps save a costs on, the, on these clusters. You don't pay for the inactive cluster hours. On the detail page, you can find the JDBC endpoint. You can connect from your backend applications or other tools like BI, etc. through this JDBC endpoint. Let's switch to the built-in SQL editor. Here, we can connect to the Lakehouse cluster to write SQL queries. For the sake of this demo, let's do the following scenario. Connect to an external MySQL database table here, now creating an external table inside IMIT that directly connects to the MySQL database. Once we query the external table, the query actually goes to the MySQL database. And then we can check the details. We can see the provider is JDBC provider. We can easily replicate that data directly into the lakehouse with this syntax. If we check this new table, we'll see it's stored in our data lake in iceberg format. Okay, let's query the table to see how many rows are there, as well as see the data that table holds. Okay, once we have this data in our lakehouse, let's move to BI and then create a chart on top of that data. First, we need to add that table as a data set to BI. Let's go here, choose our database and table we just created. Let's add this table to our BI as a data set. And then we can choose this data set as, uh, and easily create a nice chart on that. We have a rich chart, chart library here. Let's use PyChart here. Um, let's say we want to see the gender ratio within the company. Let's group by gender and add metrics. Uh, aggregate on this column and, and run it. To make it even nicer, we can customize the appearance of chart. And once we are done, we can save it to the dashboard.
Here we create our first chart and dashboard. We can repeat the same process to create many charts and insightful dashboards. At this point, we covered from MySQL to Lakehouse and use the data on BI. You can use the Spark job service to deploy and manage Spark applications and Spark streaming applications. Let's check the details of the Spark application. Here we can see it's scheduled to be run every 24 hours. Last run just happened 10 minutes ago. And then you can see the overall metrics over the runs. Here is the run history. Let's check the last run. You can check the runs log details of the run and metrics of the run. On the job level, you can even find more metrics information. Here you can compare different metrics. Let's check the job configuration. The schedule configuration here, Docker image and main application parameters. It's very easy and intuitive. Here, just specify how much compute capacity you need. One ICU is equal to four CPU and 32 gigabyte of memory. And that's all about Spark jobs. Now let's show some data governance features. Specifically, let's check data catalog and data access control. Let's first start with the data access control. Data policies allows uh, users easily manage all their data access from central policy management. You can control database, table, column level access, specify who gets what permission. And you can add multiple allow and deny conditions. That's quite flexible and powerful. Using data masking policies, you can mask sensitive data without duplicating or changing the original data. Here we show only uh, four last four digits of the credit card information from the payments table. You have many options here, like hashing, nullifying, etc. So centrally control your sensitive information without changing the data itself. In the data catalog, you can easily filter and find the data you need out of thousands of data sets. Check the details of this data set. Here are the general properties of the data sets, columns information, their tags and descriptions. Under the profiling, you could see the common metrics of, of the columns. Okay, let's wrap up. Today we covered Lakehouse, SQL Editor, BI, serverless Spark job service, and some data governance features like data access control and data catalog.